And welcome here to Road America. I did not have any commentary in the last race because I don't know why. I think my mic was unplugged and didn't know. But uh, this was not the scheduled track. Uh, I wanted to. I downloaded a track which I thought was just one of uh, was a rally track. It was one of those glitchy figure eight tracks, and I went crazy. And yeah. So here we go. The 39, I believe, who flipped over. What the hell? What? What? What are they? What are they doing? What are they? What are you doing? Get back in line. Oh, this is even ex more exciting. Look at that. Three wide under the pace laps. Perfect. Just perfect. Look at them. Four wide. Here we go. Four wide. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. I'll stop. No, I won't stop. Here they go, the weirdest Road America race we're gonna race, and here we go, green flag, four wide, for the lead, and the seven, th I mean 29, shoots right off, and gets the lead, blocks, three wide, and shoots right through up to the front, oh we got many, lots of cars, lots of cars, shoot off right through the uh, sand, the 39 of Amy Shelley, the pole sitter, got the other drivers who shot off the grass, they're okay actually and the 29 is up in front winning the first season of the Elite Four. Oh my god that's too loud the Elite Four series well that was a crazy start oh yeah there's no cautions in this series and the 39 is stuck 39 is stuck Caution wouldn't even come out anyways. I know this track. Hey, Holly. Uh, take a look at the rear camera of the 29 car. Patrick Mew won the first race. As everyone now... As he was one of the drivers who slipped right off. Including the 98, the 87. And whoa, the 98 going over again. No brakes, no brakes. Oh, right into the tire barriers. And he's out. Again. Oh, that's big time damage. Oh, and the 78 Seth Brown is in it. And there's the 39 Shelly. Started. No, yeah, started on the pole, I believe. I didn't know it was going to do that. Well, look at that 25 now. He's once again second race in a row. He is running in second. And he is. And I see a lot of good things with that rookie. If he does comment. And does not mess up. He looks like he has a lot of potential. Well, it's only his second rally race. Starts his career in this league. In the rally series. And he's right at the back bumper of that 25, uh, 29, and no, he's the 25. Whoa, he shot off just a bit. That's a rookie mistake right there. He was right there at the 29's bumper, but did not get it. Could not. So that just allows the 72 to close right in real fast. We could have saw some exciting racing. So all 13 drivers are actually still on the lead lap for some odd reason. Uh, not when they come, when the leaders come right back around. Here comes the 72. We got a, got a battle for second now. The 25-72. Nope. He clears him coming off that corner. Not allowing that 72 to get right by. 77 to Kyle's in fourth. We got a four car battle for fifth. Sort of. And look at them drivers slipping and sliding. We're, we're back on asphalt. And oh, the 29, the leader, has shot right off. And oh, right into the barriers, he goes just a little bit. He could not hold the brake. Oh, wait, I damn put my freaking thing. Did not realize that. Hold on. He was leading the thing and he messed up. Imagine if that was the last lap. That just puts the rookie in the lead. Ride the roof, Cam. Damn it! My damn filter's not working. It's just coming right off. And it looks like it's gonna lead his first lap ever. 
Only in his second start, stupid pop filter. Why you no stay? New leader, Mark Stevenson. Those three drivers still on pit road. Mark Cravang something. C. I'm trying to pronounce the last name as much as I uh, as a, I don't know what I'm saying. Kyle's in third. Fourth is a 29. He f and there's that damage on that left door. I wonder if these drivers are used to going out the door. And, or did they just roll down the window? Now those three drivers are being put in the lap down and oh we got more Who's that? Washer in the twenty-four Another uh, there's a the rookie right there, the thirty-six of uh, Bacon Roll Rofflington And the twenty-four Washer is now coming out. They ripped the right they ripped the hood off and they're back under control Whoa And they're back underway. Twenty-nine twenty-one battle it out. The twenty-nine looks look Looks like he has some problems. Oh, the 21 does not have a lot of room. He's right there. The 29 is giving him room this time. Whoa, getting real close to him. Looks like he's going to let him. Careful for drivers. The rookie leading in his second start. These drivers are battling real hard like it's the last lap. And finally, the 21 lets off and lets him go. That's a rookie versus pro right there. Got the the 77 of Chris Kyle and the 72 of Mark of Cav. Damn it! Where's the text to speech thing? Okay, I'll do it later. Look at that 72 close in. Oh, Kyle's lost it. I did not pay attention. Now Chris Kyle's now in the barriers, and that's the third car I believe who went into that barriers, and now he teleports away to pit road. The 39 Amy Shelley's still there. And there's the other drivers. Look at them. Bumper to bumper. No. Bump nose to bump nose to tail. Look at that. Now third place is the 29. The 72 lets off that time. He's still there. Did not make the same uh, mistake as Mark Stevenson. Here's a spectator. Oh, bad, bad spectator cam. Now, can that 29 catch up? The last, when he crossed that line, he was 3.77 seconds. Here comes the 72 of Mark C on the, right beside the 25. Here they go. Battle for the lead. Uh, I, don't, I think the 25 is going to include. Yes, he did. Cleared him. Oh, he goes right into the sand, though. Or gravel. Oh, man. Just blocks that, that pro driver. Rookie versus pro. Only in his second start, he's doing pretty good. Whoa, the 72 looks a bit tight. Wait, can rally cars be tight? I don't know much about rally cars. And now the 77 rolls up, but the 39 who started on the pole does not. We take a look for the battle for the lead once again. There's the 29 still. Who was in the lead? Let the first lap, and now fell to fourth. Now into third. We got a battle over here now. That 15, he was one of those drivers who shot off the track, but still able to run it. He's currently running in sixth, but now fifth, I believe. We'll just have to see once he crosses that line. That 72 fell off, fell back a lot actually. More than half a second, and here comes the 39 finally coming off the track. This could be a danger, danger move for the 72 as he goes right off track. I think he, he bumped the 39 out of the way. Gonna use the left side of the 39 to get right past. Still drag racing. That is not good. He's doing all he can to do this. This will allow the 29 to catch, but last time he was 4 seconds off. And finally the 72 gets right past and now he has to work his way back up to the 25 car. Oh, let's see, 172. Mark C is the driver with the fastest lap. 123.23 sec uh, miles an hour. The other drivers did not make, didn't turn a full lap so 
They'll be still be still counted though. Here comes a battle over here, the 18 and 87 and 15. And I don't know if these drivers. Whoa! It's got more drivers shotting off the track. Whoa! Watch it! Watch it! Looks like they're getting awfully close now. Here they go. They get right past Amy Shelley. Man, two races in a row. It's not going good. Flipped at the first race, and now wrecked after sitting on the pole turned the fastest lap Nick Purcell's in seventh but he's f really far behind the 15 and the 87 I don't know if they like each other right now because they are just just beating and banging each other because they're trying all because both of them are trying real hard it's a battle for spots and right now on the radio communications yeah, yeah you can tell looks like there's gonna be a new rivalry maybe And that time, the 72 is now 2.12 seconds from the leader. Six seconds from third is the 21 of Sam McMillan. Another rookie. We have three rookies in this series, currently. The uh, Holiday Inn All-American Series will start soon. Sign-ups will start soon. There's Chris Kyle trailing in the 24 of washers on pit road once again. Mark Stevenson right to chase cam. I wonder, uh, counting out season one of the first ever race that was quick was uh, put in the history books. I believe, yeah. Wonder how long it took before a rookie can get us win. The current record is six from Timothy Needham. Mark Stevenson looking to break that record with only two starts. It's gonna be two laps to go when he crosses that line. That is 72 is just gonna run the same line line as him. I don't know if it'll work. It will work because uh, this track is pretty long. I remember running the nationwide race here and yeah, Claude Nightbar series race. Lots, uh, not much, not too much battles for the lead until in this series, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not good at the rally stuff. Don't know much about it, so. You see these drivers. 15 and the 80, uh, yeah, 87. He's still going after it once again. These were, these were the top two drivers. Or top three. Who were up in front in the first race. And once again the 25 pulls ahead. He has only two laps to break the record. Six is the record. As I, as I, as I said before. Mark Stevenson. Second start. And his first time in this league. First series he's going to run. Not in a stock car though, but in a rally car. How long is this race going on? It's going to be a long time to render. Seven seconds off third. And they still battle for spots. It's once again rookie versus pro. And these drivers are still going at it. So is these two, but they're running a clean race. But these two, I've been seeing some bumping and banging as well from these uh, drivers but the uh, road course races just think of them as really long short track races because there's a lot of beating and banging and rivalries I might go to Watkins Glen if there's any more glitchy rally tracks if there's no glitchy rally tracks then we're going to race those and not Watkins Glen now I don't know what happened to the 72, but he was there right at the back bumper of the 25. But now he has fell back more than two seconds, and now he has no chance to win this race unless the 25 blows up, goes to pit road, blows a tire. You know the stuff. Well, here we go. White flags in the air. One more lap to go. Chris Washer 
has now finally pulled that car behind the wall. They're going to pack it up for the next rally race. And here we go. White flag. One more lap to go. And we'll see who's going to win this race. And we believe it's going to be Mark Stevenson. Unless he messes up. No rookie mistakes. And he's got this. The way he got the lead was pure craziness. The 29 slid off the track. Uh, hit the tire barriers just a bit. And uh, that of course really slowed him down as he's now uh, over 10 seconds away from the leader. Mark Stevenson uh, is still leading. Mark C is still trailing. Uh, I'm betting, I'm thinking that 72 just wants that 25 to make a rookie mistake. Get right to him. Right to his back bumper. I believe that's the turn where everyone's having a hard time getting through. But uh, here we go. As long as that 25 does not do anything dumb, he's got this in the bag. Looking for his first win and his second start. He ran great in the first race, running excellent in the first in the second. And it looks like he's gonna get this win on the wait. It's not official till he crosses that line and he comes up the hill. And he's gonna break the rec. He's gonna set a new, new record in the books. Checkered flag in the air. Mark Stevenson wins at Road America in his second start as a rookie. Beautiful. Not the race we wanted, of course, but it's amazing we can see a rookie like that conquer drivers who have won multiple times and had more experience in this league. But I don't think they have. But I think Mark Stevenson is a rally racer. Unbelievable performance he has put on. Let's take a look at the full race results. There you have it. Mark Stevenson. I look two marks. I just noticed that. So both marks. One, two. Tim. Oh, man. He got third and actually closed the gap. Just a little bit. Like about a second. Finished at third. Sam McMillan, another rookie. Fourth. Alan Sees. Defeated Patrick Mew, who won the first race. Finishes fifth. And Mew, sixth. Seventh, Purcells. Eighth, Kyle. Ninth, Washer, who was out of the race. And Amy Shelley, who started on the pole, finishes tenth. Hope you enjoyed today's race. I don't think you did, but now let's take it to victory lane.